Hello and welcome back to another Q&A with uh, Master Code Online. My name's Tom and we got a question here from Omar. And this has to do with args and keyword args again. Is there a, is there a situation we uh, have to use args and we cannot use keyword args? And is there a situation where we have to use keyword args and uh, we cannot use args? Uh, uh, that's a simple answer. <laughs> I'll show you a demonstration of this. Uh, also, uh, I'll throw in some more information to help you guys learn about args and keyword args uh, a little bit better. Um, so, I mean, this is a confusing topic when you're a new programmer. So, we'll go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a um, function that just takes uh, args. All right. And remember what args is? Is it's basically just a tuple um, that contains uh, arguments or values. Um, and we're going to pass that in and we're going to remove white spaces from a string. All right. So <clears throat> you might want to do this if you have some kind of a uh, function that uh, counts how many characters are in a post or in a document. All right. So uh, just to count the characters and you don't want to ca count the spaces, something like that. I don't know. I was just trying to think of something. So we'll do, uh, we'll define a function and we'll say no spaces. This is going to be the name of our function, and we're going to pass args. And the reason we use args, all right, is because we may not know how many um, uh, arguments are going to be passed, all right. Uh, most when we're normally working with functions, we probably know what the argument is going to be, so we just set it to that argument. But if you have more than uh, one argument, or it could vary from more than one to one to 20 you know you want to use arcs all right otherwise we'd have to write out uh, an argument for each one of these and that that would be a pain in the butt if you ask me all right so <clears throat> there you go there's our argument uh, or we put our arguments and there's a function header uh, you can name this anything you want so I'll show you that in a second so let's go ahead and do modified all right and it's gonna be empty an empty list, all right, because this is going to be hold our modified strings, the ones that are converted and all the white spaces are removed. So now we're going to need a for loop so we can loop through all the arguments being passed through. So we'll do for arg in args, all right. So there you go, args, all right. We can change this to something like monkey, monkey, and then we'll change this one to monkey. There you go. All right, so we can change that to anything we want. Now let's go ahead and um, replace all the white spaces or the space in a string. So the way we do that, we'll just make a variable called string, and we'll do arg dot replace. All right, so this will replace any white spaces by going uh, quote or a string and then a space. So we're going to replace that with an empty space or an empty string all right so it's going to replace the space and then we're just going to append what we just for each argument that's passed through our args which we changed to monkey um we're going to go ahead and append that to our modified uh list of strings so we can do modified like that and do append string all right and then um we want to go ahead and print out each um uh, string if you will so we could just do uh we'll do a for mod in modified and we'll do print mod all right so down here we'll come over here and we will create a couple strings so we'll say a is equal to this is a string and then down here we'll do B is equal to this is also a string and we'll do C is equal to um, uh, hello world alright and then we'll just do no spaces so we're gonna call our function and notice the asterisk and monkey and it pops up on PyCharm here now it went away but it's saying, hey, the asterisk indicates to me 
that this could take multiple arguments, all right? So that's good. Now I can throw every um, uh, string we have here at the function. So we'll do A, B, and C. Now let's go ahead and run that and see what happens. Um, so I call this, uh, what did I call this? Keyword args2, I believe. Yes, I did. Um, so we'll go ahead and call that keyword args uh, 2py uh, whoops this shouldn't be equals this should be a period there we go now we'll call it now you notice that we've removed the spaces from our string alright so that worked minus my little hiccup there and we'll go down here and that's good enough I think I think you guys got the concept here well let's go ahead and throw another one at it let's do a uh, goodbye world alright and we'll just throw another one at it so you guys can see how this we can throw multiple arguments and it will do the same thing alright Sweet. That's when we would use args. All right. Anytime you don't need to call specific value, you would use args. All right. Now let's go ahead and take a look at keyword args. Um, and this would be like if you're calling a specific value, you want the user to pass, or you want the program to pass a specific value. All right. So we're going to use name in this. Uh, we're going to create a name function. We're going to Turn to user's name. All right, so let's go define the function name, and then in here we're going to do a uh, keyword args, and we'll keep this one as keyword args. We won't change this to monkey or dog or something. Just keyword args. This is a good conven convention if you're working with other programmers. All right, so um, let's go ahead. We're going to return uh, first name, middle name, last name, and if the last if the middle name's not passed then we'll just return first name last name all right so maybe we have a person's first name and last name or maybe we have person's first name middle name last name it's kind of like a form on a website you know sometimes I ask for your middle name you don't want to share that because you know you got funny middle names like me like Frederick all right so try uh, we're gonna use a try statement because if we don't pass a middle name, then we want to be able to uh, not have an error. And we'll just use an accept to run a different um, uh, return here. So we'll just do try and we'll do full name is, let's just do this. Let's do return full, oops, that's not. Let's just return this. I don't need to create a variable here. So we'll just do a string. And our curly braces, curly braces, and this is for our formatting, if you guys aren't aware. We'll do format, and then in here we'll do uh, keyword args. Then we'll call our key, so first name. So we'll create a key in a second that's first name. Then keyword args, and we'll call middle name all right and one last one for last name we'll do last name all right so we're going to try to return the user's first name and this is how we get the key in the dictionary so um just so if you guys aren't aware uh if we had a dictionary and we had first name this and that's our key and then our first name value is Tom all right so that's a dictionary first name key and the actual name is the value all right so this is how we get the key uh, call the key and returns the value all right that's how that works all right let's go ahead and throw an accept in here accept and this time we're going to just return uh, first name, last name. So we just need oops, two curly braces. And then in here we'll do format, keyword args, and we'll do first name, 
and keyword args again, and we'll do uh, last name. And then down here, we'll just uh, call the function. Uh, we'll say print, and we'll do uh, name. And then here we'll do first name is equal to whatever name you want, Tom. And then last name is equal to whatever you want, and Myers. All right, so we're not going to pass the uh, middle name this time around, and then we'll adjust it. So let's go ahead and make sure this works. So we'll call keyword args, and hold on, Oops, slide my terminal up here. All right, you can see down here it says Tom Myers, so it did return it properly, so that did work. So how about if I wanted to pass a middle name? So let's go over here and pass middle name. Middle name, and we'll say uh, Frederick. All right, that's my middle name. So let's go ahead and run that one more time. I'm going to clear my screen so it's easier to see. And you see Tom Frederick Myers. There you go. I hope I answered your question, Omar. Um, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to ask me. And uh, hopefully we can cover it. I mean, with args and keyword args, we can go on days. And I'll be more than happy to answer your questions about this because, yes, it is intimidating to new programmers. Until you actually start using them and learning how they work, they will intimidate you. So I suggest you try working with them too and seeing what you can do with it. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.